praise the Lord. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tent of the righteous. I'll share a few things with us and then we'll pray. We have a lot to do tonight. And I trust God in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness that he truly will grant us grace to produce results in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's start tonight with Matthew 28, Matthew chapter 28. It's important that when you come to the house of God, you come with a Bible. At the least, you should have your Bible on your phone or whatever device you have, but at least you should come with a Bible. Make it a habit to come with a Bible and something to write even if it's to type on your phone or your electronic devices don't just put your hands in your pocket and come to the house of the lord and revelations continue to come that can change you but then you are not able to preserve when he showed john these revelations he said right for these words are faithful and true matthew chapter 28 I'll read from verse 18 to 20. Jesus left us what we call and know to be the Great Commission. He started with the 11 disciples, but by extension is a mandate and is a command that is for every believer. 18 says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power some versions use authority the word there is exousia authority all authority in heaven and in earth is given to me go ye therefore i like the account of matthew go ye therefore and teach not just go and witness go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit 20 he emphasizes again teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you all way even to the end of the world so we are given a mandate please listen everyone we are given a mandate not only to evangelize but to mentor nations to teach nations are we together part of the great commission is not just to win souls but to disciple them discipleship is a system of mentorship that causes you to conform to the life and the character of the mentor so we are mandated by God to not only evangelize like make sure that their eternal destinies are secured but to go a step further he says teaching all nations were mandated to disciple nations the word nation there does not just mean physical geographic territories alone it also means fears of influence are we together that we should take the message the life and the power of jesus to every sphere of influence and we should teach them to observe everything we have been taught he taught them certain things the secrets of the kingdom and he said take this truth to the nations teach them mentor them bring people to a point where they are not only saved but they are matured discipled are we together now it's very important to disciple nations means that certain things must be at work in your own life to qualify you to disciple nations i just wanted to start on this note number one to be able to disciple nations you must be a model a representation of god's intention for the people that means that you disciple people when you become what you want them to be are we together now yes if you want to disciple career people then you must sustain an ability to be excellent you must rise to the zenith the pinnacle 
of your career pursuit that way you become a model and a reference enough worthy to be emulated are we together if god is sending you to disciple people in ministry you must excel in a way and a manner that is both supernatural and is worthy of emulation if god is sending you to mentor people in the area of finances you're not going to mentor them being poor and hoping to be blessed you must become an epistle of what you want them to be are we together now so discipling nations would require that we become models epistles we become the points of reference so that the people can have an idea transformation is easy when there is a reference it's difficult to transform people if there is no reference if you want people to prosper by god you have to trust god to prosper yourself so that you become a model if you think there is an imbalance with finances for instance then become the correct model of it then it's easy for them to cut away from the imbalances are we together if you want to model the anointing removing the excesses then become it it is easy for people to become when there is a reference imagine trying to dress yourself and there is no mirror there you don't know what to adjust you don't know what to correct but when there is a mirror and better still a photo of what you are trying to look like then you will know what to adjust appropriately so you must be a model number two you must become a force and influence you will never be able to disciple nations if you are not a force are we together a force is an ability that can provoke change you must be a force a voice you must be an influence that means you must sustain the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies is god helping us if you are not a model you are not a force you are not an influence then the perspectives of God communicated to you will never spread to the nation and the region that you are sent let me tell you this this already means that if you love God and you truly want to see his glory fill the earth then it is important for you to find out the area that he wants you to mentor nations in and begin to contend for results in that area for yourself that's why we came are we together now yes if god is sending you to be a pastor of pastors to teach people the proper way of building and equipping the saints you're not going to do that with a small and weak and disorganized church you yourself not obtaining results let me tell you this i have grown to respect the power of results say results it is true that the end of all arguments is results there is always room for contention when there are no results and so when the bible god speaking by jesus mandating us to disciple nations the approach we are taking now is very difficult because we seldom have the results that we propose to the people are we together so i think the better approach is to not be in a hurry to reach them but to be patient enough to have the level of result that is undeniable incontestable and you can win a nation within a day this is the strategy for as long as we continue to propose things that our lives have not captured we will find out that the people will have legitimate reasons to doubt so we are here tonight not just because of ourselves to say lord a b c this area does not have sufficient result to let people see you in and through me and i'm here in this miracle service trusting you like naman although i'm a captain of the syrian army i'm a valiant warrior but this other side step in for me is someone with me tonight all power there is a reason why he said all authority because witnessing will require authority it will require a basis for results we are not going to suggest to nations we are not going to step into systems and structures and just suggest we will need to influence the system to come in with something that works 
almost everyone here has or has used a phone and almost everyone here is not using the phone he or she is using as the first phone is that true that when the mobile devices came out and got to africa we had all kinds of models that we now consider inferior what made us leave it they didn't force you they brought out something and showed you the excellency of that new gadget and it forced you to carry your own money and go to the market and insist that although I have a 5,000 Naira phone, I have been dissatisfied because someone showed me something that the phone I have cannot browse and so it does not sustain an advantage to connect me to the world from where I am and I have someone marketed another phone and it will make me hate something I once loved results are powerful they challenge people to change their minds results can make a man change his mind it is true come see a man the woman said at the well come see a man that has told me that means she had the ability to repent it's just that everyone who met her did not have enough result to convince her most people are not rebels the level of result it takes to persuade them is absent in our lives did you hear what i just said most people are not rebels most people who don't go to church are not that hardened we have not communicated a dimension of the life the power the grace and the possibilities of the kingdom enough to make them want it and so we minister Christ from a standpoint of extreme weakness and disadvantage. It's not force enough to draw people. Is God speaking to us now? Most of your family members, let me tell you this. For many of us, it looks very difficult to reach your family members because you look at the hardness of their hearts and wonder how will I break this ground? let me tell you something if god mandated you to reach them then you need to find out lord what can convince these people enough for five thousand men aside from women and children to climb up a mountain and stay three days without worrying for what to eat the parents were not irresponsible jesus must have done something to them that even made food unnecessary and he took responsibility and said look i have to feed them because i'm sure part of the many things he taught them was the responsibility that comes when you become part of the fold of god and he said i have to prove what i just said so don't dismiss them that way and the disciples said you've put us in trouble now these people we we have wet their appetite and they expect a performance and jesus said that's all right and they got the young lad andrew brought a young boy with five loaf and two fish jesus said watch something now do you know immediately they ate it what was their response we will make you king whoever can feed us every day without begging caesar deserves to be our king no election could it be that this is why politics is hard in africa and nigeria a people came together and said jesus you must be king and jesus said i know it's because you ate bread but at least they were honest who will throw away a bread giver free to the point that 12 baskets were gathered i was once hungry now i'm so full i just look at the bread you will have to be king the same thing will happen in your family regard listen listen regardless of your all this um firstborn second boy is wonderful in terms of respect and honor but in terms of kingdom advance whoever has the ability to reveal jesus in a way and a manner that solves the needs of the people must be made king even if it is joseph the sun the moon and the eleven stars will bow they don't bow to age they bow to whoever if the sun and the moon bows then the person they are bowing to what is he that means he's neither the sun he's neither the moon he's neither the star what is the name of that person that the sun will bow to the moon will bow for 
this is the mandate of jesus it's not just to carry a truck and meet someone and harass him and while he looks at you and then you are done and you present a very miserable jesus he will ask you one question you cannot answer he said let me let me go and ask god he said but i thought he sent you either we are telling lies and just carrying out the ritual of religiosity or we truly want to disciple nations let me tell you where the carcasses are truly there the eagles work human beings have real problems they are not idiots except they don't find real answers they will inconvenience themselves to any level when men complain they are not complaining because of you they are using you to complain that there is not result enough to keep them in the days of the generals by 2 a.m for a service of six or seven people will gather there and not mind whether it is the sun or the moon or rain or whatever because they knew one encounter with these strange beings that were not like human beings their lives would change most of the people that knew the generals met them only once they didn't meet them many times but now we can be pastors over people for 10 years and nobody can reproduce our grace and you expect them to still be loyal people are not stupid my brothers and my sisters are we together disciple nations not by drumming people's faces and harassing them where the carcasses are there the eagles will no atm ever called your name once yet you cannot resist it when you pass and you see an atm even if you don't have money you have respect for it because of what is inside i watch people queue before something that is not a living thing and they are patient for a long time what if you are that atm that is the same way gentiles will come It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the lord's house shall be exalted above every other mountain and above every other hill listen and the nation to say come let us go let us go they were not invited they are advising themselves come let us go to the house of the lord he said there he will teach us his ways for out of zion shall proceed the law it's time for us to mentor nations with our results are we together now yes that the greatest businessman in zaria is a tongue-talking anointed christian everybody that needs him will follow him to church without invitation and sit down whether they like it or not that's how to mentor nations when you see someone who has what you are looking for rolling before god whether you know why or not you will start rolling first before you understand why he's rolling we are too weak to make jesus powerful and this is what we want to correct tonight listen let me tell you this there is nothing you can do with a man or a people that become a force when you have results real results replicable results it is impossible for a territory to deny your presence here's what Jesus said teaching in what we call the Beatitudes the principles of the kingdom he says you are the light of the world you are the salt of the earth he says you are a city not like a city a city that is set on a hill how can a city be on a hill men whom the earth was not worthy of a city set on a hill giving light men will light that candle and put it on top of a bush for a very long time pastors have made the church weak because they don't know what else to do when they are not saved they are the weakest in every society they are the poorest they are the whatever it is under the spirit of servitude within a territory i reject that for koinonia in the name of jesus christ that you are able to disciple and mentor nations 
God is giving us influence and granting us grace and when that influence comes people will be able to listen to you you will say the same thing now that you said five years ago and people will cry hearing you not because more anointing was added to it more result is now backing what you are saying the same thing you said before are we together now everything they say about you is correct until your results prove otherwise everything if they say your god is weak they are right until your results prove otherwise hearing is my father glorified 15 and verse 8 john hearing brothers and sisters let us not be hypocrites for god's sake this is how god is glorified when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much truth my mother and my father when your children become the best and the most influential people within a city and are madly in love with god they will influence more people within a year than you will do holding a crusade in 10 years everybody is seeking for someone to reference his life after that's why we chase after musicians that's why we go online searching for people when people show certain things that we want, even if we know they are lying, we still follow them. If someone decides to wear rags today, if you see the money he has close to the rags, tomorrow you too, since you don't have the money, you can start with the rags. At least you can tear your cloth to look like it, to give you hope that you will become like him. We are making nonsense marketable because there is no result to back it. I vow to myself and I vow before my God that I will never be a weak representative of the kingdom. By every standard, as far as the territories are located for my, my spiritual impact is concerned, we will have to do something for God that will make God beat his chest and say, truly, I have sons upon the earth. That's why we are here. That's why we are here and many times you will think that these things are just boastful statements no when a man speaks you need to look at the force back in him if it is your ability whether intellectual physical whatever then you are wasting your time but the power of the highest mary said how shall these things be seen that i know not a man and the angel said the power of the highest will overshadow you are we together now the mandate of jesus it's not more members the mandate of jesus is not a greater name for a ministry the mandate of jesus is not more people in a register the mandate of jesus is not more slaves loyal to a man called a man of god the mandate of jesus is that there will be people who understand the kingdom and love him and understand his system to be able to mentor and disciple nations your nation must look up to you otherwise you have failed if it's business if it's ministry if it's family whatever it is go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples not go and have denominations go and make disciples that you should not give room for any unbeliever within your territory to hold a level of influence that will have to make you bend to God to receive their resources. No, sir. This is a message that the devil has fought for many years. And so many believers, especially we around the northern middle belt and part of the, we, we, we are not kingdom and we are not strategic in our understanding. We are morally sound, bless God. We love the Lord with all our heart, bless God. But we find out that our lives are empty, void of spiritual meaning because we do not know what else to do so we seek god we love him we become anointed we even fall under the anointing but to what end was that anointing given we don't know so we roam around and hope that the mundane things that we spend our lives on will give us meaning nothing else has the ability to give your life meaning than knowing that you are living your life according to purpose and that it is giving joy to the father 
in a few minutes from now we are going to be celebrating dimensions of the hand of god the miracles of god you know why we are doing this because we know that first we love the people but second it is a testament that's why it matters when unbelievers hear what god is doing when believers hear what god is doing thank god for it but the real impact is that what god is doing gets to the ears of the unbelievers because it will compel them are we together now you are gathered here tonight first because you love god he brought you but quite honestly because you are trusting god for various levels of supernatural solutions people have been here since monday tuesday wednesday families groups ministries people have traveled endured all kinds of things because someone told you or you heard it in a message that if you came here your life and your situation will change did you think they lied sit back and watch what god does with your life in a few minutes from now. So, that when you leave this place and go back as a man of god you will be surprised yourself the next time you see you will not come alone you will be too grateful to come alone when a mother comes here and sees what god does to her she will remember immediately that my stubborn neighbor's son that means they always wanted him change it's just that they had been looking for a place anointed enough to make them let me tell you i still say it again and again i thank god for posters i thank god for handbills please i'm in no way trying to demean them but nothing will cover the publicity that real power and real result creates people are too grateful rumors spread in overnight nobody paid for it and yet it goes round that's the same way the word of the Lord can come upon you. Ah, I came for Koinonia, a program called the Miracle Service. I just strolled there and my life changed overnight. Madam, the next one is next month. I don't have money. You, you better look for money. And you see people run around and come and receive. And so our own assignment is to continue to stay with God to make sure that everybody that comes you take a level of fire that like Queen of Sheba you say half of this was not told me if we are not doing this this is just jamboree and a ceremony and a sin and wickedness because when people pay so much price and leave wherever they come from to come and sit down and then we entertain and make all kinds of noise and jargons and they go back again with the same pain we've wasted their time and we cause the heart of the father to bleed we make miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a miracle walk a promise keep you won't believe i've not even touched what i wanted to share as the message for tonight God, this year your life will change in the name of jesus christ this year your life will change by the power of the holy spirit it's true let those who laugh at you laugh 